So we're here with this Civic, and we have an oil leak um, that seems to be coming from the head gasket. You can see oil accumulating here. Um, it could also be the camshaft seals. Uh, so Eric here bought a complete um, gasket kit. So we're going to take this apart and we're going to replace the uh, head gasket on all the seals up above that, the camshaft, the distributor, you know, everywhere else. Um, so to start off, he's uh, removing the headers. So Maybe. We'll, we'll let him let him do that. Um, all right, so we're taking the valve cover off, pulling the uh, spark plug wires out. We've got the exhaust headers loose, but one of the bolts at the bottom where this A pipe meets to the B pipe down there um, was. So we're gonna take off these tens Pick this valve cover off. All right, so the valve cover is removed. What's next, Eric? Distributor. Okay. Yeah. So the distri well, distributor is yeah, distributor with the wires. It's 12, 12, 12, three twelves. And uh, unplug it from the wire harness. That's 14. All right, so distributor is removed. Now he's working on the intake. Um, obviously, it has an aftermarket intake. So we've got this uh, PCV as well as a clamp here and a strap down here. Um, so he's removing that strap. Injectors? Okay. So next we're gonna remove, well, you're, you're not gonna remove- yeah, fuel, fuel rail, I guess. No, because I don't have to remove any of that. I just have to take off the intake. Yeah, you have to take off the intake manifold, which are all of these bolts that you're gonna have difficulty getting at with the fuel rail in place probably, but yeah. I would say it's Probably worth it to not take the intake off. Let's drain the coolant then. Okay. All right, so we're moving the head bolts. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten of them. All right, so now we're removing the intake manifold. So there are these bolts right there uh, where it mates up to the head. All right, so we removed the head. Um, this intake manifold is actually bolted to the back side of the engine. Um, so we're probably gonna have to unbolt that to put everything back together to get it out of the way. But we were able to just kind of pull the head forward. Um, I have to scrape this gasket off. We had some water um, kind of sitting here because of the water jacket overflowing when we picked the head up. But our, um, our cylinders look good. Um, you know, there's, I don't see any scoring or anything like that. They look pretty good. The intake runners are a little dirty, um, but not too bad for a car with almost 200,000 miles on it. So uh, to remove the head, we just had to remove these bolts in the back, the bolts in the front, um, and then there's two wire harnesses that plugged into the side of it uh, and just kind of slid forward. So, uh, so next we're going to um, clean this up, clean that surface up unbolt this intake from the engine so that it can go backwards uh, and then we'll get the head re uh, reattached with the head gasket. All right, so Eric is undoing this black bracket right there and that secures this intake manifold to the engine. So that's just gonna allow us to bring it backwards a little bit. All right, so we've got this pulled out of the way. We don't need a lot, just enough. Um, so now he's putting the little Wait, can you lift this up? gasket. One thing, our kit came with a little scratch here, so I'm hoping that it doesn't make it leak. Um, it might, it honestly might. Hoping, hoping that it doesn't. Maybe that's not right to touch. Yeah. All right, so we cleaned off the mating surface here um, with a scraper, a razor blade. Um, there's some dark spots, but it's smooth. Um, the intake manifold would clean the paper off of that as well. Um, so I think at this point we're probably ready to get this reinstalled. All right, so we're gonna put this in here. Actually, what we should do, give me uh, two of the head bolts. What the? Am I blind? Yes, I am. I'm just gonna put one in here and put one in here. It's gonna help me line it up so I don't have to 
shimmy it around on top of the head gasket. Okay, so there we are. There. It's in. We'll move this out of the way. Um, You're going to have to turn that a little bit. Yeah. Here. I got my trusty wrench. Well, it's not tight. So you're going to have trouble turning it. Well, I can turn it the other way. Can you film? So we kind of marked the belt here. We'll still check the timing before we put it all back together, but the hope was that we wouldn't have to take all of this apart, but it looks like we might have to anyway. Well, that's fun. Okay. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to tighten up our head bolts. Um, we're using a service manual for that. Eric, do you have the bolt pattern for this? Did you get the service manual? Uh, so we're just getting all the bolts started here. Um, I'm using this quarter inch ratchet and I'm not applying any torque. I'm just getting them to the point where they're kind of snug. And then we're going to tighten them up with a torque wrench. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually tightening these in phases. Um, so they're supposed to be at 53 foot pounds. So to start off, I did 30, then I did 40. Now I'm doing um, the 53. So I'm starting here. Ten. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Now we're trying to put the uh, Trying to put this belt back on and cheat it. All right, so we got our rocker arm bolts tightened up. Um, these like are 16 foot pounds. These are nine over here. Um, we've got this pulley back on with the belt on it. Um, that was a big pain. And I'm gonna have to see what that needs to be torqued to. Uh, now Eric is putting the gaskets in and we're going to start bolting up the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold. But we've got the intake manifold on, we've got the exhaust header on, um, he's bolting the A pipe to the B pipe right now. So he's putting that together. Um, next we're going to have to install the O2 sensor um, and then we'll work on getting the valve cover back on. Alright, so we just finished reinstalling the intake, um, got the valve cover sitting on top. Uh, we have new gaskets around the underside where these um, sit around the uh, spark plugs. So we're going to get the, um, the valve cover bolted down with new, again, new gaskets. That's a new one there and um, make sure those are nice and tight. And then we'll be plugging the spark plugs back in. Uh, we'll get this breather reconnected. And then uh, after that, we'll... Uh, set the timing and go from there. Oh, add coolant. We have to add coolant. Yes. <laughs> 